All right. So before we get started calibrating the E-steps using the free air method, let's check the hardware. Hopefully your motor is fully functional with all wiring intact. I know that's the case. I'm not about to open this machine up. Make sure the extruder sits firmly up against the printer and it doesn't wobble around. Make sure the filament path doesn't bend and go straight over the gear and into the Bowden tube. And if you have an aftermarket extruder that has a spring adjustment screw, make sure that that's right in its sweet spot because it's too tight and you may grind the filament too loose and the filament won't move. So let's start the E-Steps calibration. Now, depending on your firmware, you might need to go ahead and heat up the hot end, which I've already done here. I don't think stock firmware cares. I know Marlin cares, but there's... Stock firmware is closed source, so really I'm just guessing when I say stock firmware this or that. Because it just won't extrude, even if you're extruding out into the air. And now the next thing I'm... Actually, let me open up my spreadsheet now that I've got that. I just want to, yep, remove the Bowden tube from either the extruder or the hot end, whichever is easier. This is written to be generic. And on this printer, it's easier to remove the tube from the extruder. So let's do that. I'm going to remove this clip. Press down here. Oh, I pressed the wrong thing. Push down on this blue tube. And then the Bowden tube comes right out. And now it's getting late. I'm tired. I've got a newborn. That's why I'm making silly mistakes. Now I'm going to... Just load the filament like you usually would. And I'm not going to send it in all the way. And now I'm going to take a pair of flush cutters. And I'm just going to cut this filament even with the exit. So going through the steps here, you see I have this equation here. This is for your M92E value in your either your EEPROM or start G-code, however you want to do it, E nu is equal to your old value times the ratio of the expected length divided by the measured length. And so let's go on down to the G-code commands. M83 followed by a command to extrude filament. And actually, I skipped something. Let's back up. So... I've got my starting M92E value is 97. You can figure out what your starting value is by following the instructions on this page or by just sending M503 over the terminal. So if I'm here and I just send M503, you can scroll up and you can find this E97 value right here and that's my starting value. If but you know what? With this calibration, you'll eventually get to the correct E value anyway. So if you just have to guess, it just means you might have to do the calculation a few times before you get to the correct answer. So anyways, and that's, I guess, if you can connect over USB, you can usually get this. If you're connecting over the Wi-Fi, it M503 doesn't work. It's all weird. So... Insert your current M92E value here. I already know it's 97, so it's there. And now I'm going to send my commands M83 and then this G1 command that I'm going to copy-paste into there afterwards. So it's auto-scroll M83 received, then paste, send. And I'm just watching the filament extrude out. And when it's done, I'm going to measure it. Some people use calipers. I'm just going to use a ruler, even though the precision isn't as good. Because here's the thing, the filament's bending. So I feel like you're going to lose some amount of precision when you try to measure something that's not rigid with calipers. So I'm just going to hold it up against the ruler and get the best measurement that I can. All right, and now that it's done, let's cut this filament flush with the exit. 
So I have the flat side of the cutters touching up against the connector. And now I'm going to measure how much actually extruded. So if I try to line that up with the zero, I'm only getting about 95, maybe 96, so let's call it 95 and a half millimeters. So I am under extruding at the extruder. So let's open up the trusty spreadsheet, measure the filament, I'm going to put, you know what, I, I had another number in there. Let me double check myself. Sometimes it's hard to get a good camera angle while I'm hard to get a good measurement and a good camera angle at the same time yep so 95.5 is what I measured here and so here's my new M92 E value to try so I'm just going to copy that go back into Octoprint M92 E paste that value and they receive that now I'm going to save it with E prom and I'm going to make sure that that saved. And it did. Now here's the thing with stock firmware. I, for some reason, I have to save and turn it off and turn it back on every time. I've got a smart switch, so I'm just going to click this icon at the top of Octoprint to turn my printer off. Now I've turned it off. Now I'm going to... Turn it back on again. And now that it's back on, I'm going to reconnect. And then let's send M503. And yep, it looks like my values have saved. Now I happen to know that stock firmware doesn't care about cold extrusion, so I'm just going to scroll back up and send my M83. And I'm going to send my extrusion command. And the purpose of this one is to make sure that we calibrate the extruder mechanism separately and then later to account for any irregularities in the hot end or anything there we're going to calibrate our flow rate. Now that's finished. Let's cut once again cut the filament flush with the connector. Now let's measure it. When I do, that measures right at about 99. So now I'm going to go back to my trusty spreadsheet. And in my current value, I need to put the one I just tried. So 101.5707, because that's what I just sent over terminal and tried. And then when I measured the filament, it was right at 99. So here's my new E value to try now. So I'm going to copy M92E, paste M500, saved. And since this is stock firmware, I'm going to turn it off. And then turn it back on again. And now connect. Well, let's just do a sanity check to make sure that value saved because I do not trust stock firmware, not one bit. All right, that looks good. And so now I'm just going to go back and send those commands again, M83 and extrude 100 millimeters of filament. Maybe it's just the way I cut it. Now I'm over extruding by 
a couple of millimeters so what I'm gonna do here I have this old value and this new value previously I had a measurement of about 99 now I have a measurement of 102 you could just keep going through this loop over and over again until it's good enough but I'm just going to say since I was barely under extruding at this value and I'm over extruding by a couple of millimeters at this value I'm just going to say I'm going to use an M92E value of 102 for this printer so M92E102 and M500 and now I'm going to turn it off turn it back on again all right and so now I'm gonna go into my machine settings and this is not my printer so I need to get my start G code ready for this guy who I'm helping and so I'm just gonna put a space E 102 because that's what I calibrated on his machine and close